Obi. You shouldn't have come here. You found a wagon, didn't you? Hey, he's got the money. He must have had about six thousand on him. He nothing went wrong. You don't nobody know. Nobody except you. Well, sure, me. I'm the one that. Oh, you got the money. Let's split it up. <laughs> well, that's why you came, wasn't it? Split it up, huh? Oh, now, no, don't hold me waiting, Johnny. I, I, I've been waiting three years. You know how long three years can be working for a man like Wilkins? Sometimes sitting in the saddle two days, just round up one lousy stray. Just grubbing for food and living like hogs. Also, so he can build a stake for that kid of his. Where's he at? This kid. The girl? Did you see her? He had her with him. Colby, you never said nothing about no kid. Could have been the wagon. I could have seen the whole thing. That makes two of them I talk. Yeah. You're off the trail. Mister! Give me the gun. Hey Johnny, we could be halfway to Tucson by morning. Ah, oh, running ain't no fun. When well, that little girl starts yelling, we're going to have lots of fun. Johnny, they find that money on us. I'm going to find it out. Here? 
<laughs> you gonna leave it here? Now, who'd think of looking here? I could say a few words. We return this body to the earth from which it came. This spirit, we return to thee, commending it to thy great and everlasting love. Amen. I'm so quick, like. Don't hardly seem enough. We can say some more. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restoreth my soul. How far do you figure that wagon could have got? All the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's all right to leave him now. Nothing can hurt him anymore. Place near here? That way. Anybody be there? Just the hired hand. Hobie. You want me to take you to him? He don't like me. I don't like him none either. All right. Let's climb up. Where are we going? Trust me. No! Ain't go with you! I know it's hard for you to believe after what happened, but I'm your friend. All I want to do is take you to someone who will look after you. Now, will you climb up? No! It's my fault. I forgot how much you loved your father. I forgot to let you say goodbye to him. I'm sorry. You're still afraid of me? Maybe it's because I wear my hair like this. Believe me, it's only because I love my father, out of deference to his race. You talk funny. <laughs> well, that's out of deference to Harvard. That's a school. I went there to learn. I'm Sam Buckhart. You can call me Sam. if I knew what to call you. Terry? Sounds like your pa wanted a boy. He never. Pa never wanted nobody except me. Of course. I guess Harvard should have taught me better. Sometimes pa called me Tess. Shall we climb up now, Tess? Pa know it was dangerous to carry big money like that? Said it was his first he'd seen in five years. Said he wanted it close. So he could touch it. He was gonna keep it from me. I know who done it! I see him! I see his face, I see his hands! Got a knife, Mark! Right there! 
right there. Well, tell that to my boss in Santa Fe. Well, that kid never done all that nice digging by herself. Tracks seem to be headed towards Santa Fe. Indeed, I've got room for another boarder. I just to have a woman in the house. Maybe if she could see her room. Of course. Best room in the house, I always said. I'd take it myself if I can afford it. Honey, don't you even want to see it? Look at it, Tess. It won't hurt to look. She'll get over it once the shock is gone. very long. Sam Buckhart, you stop plaguing her. Makes no more sense than the wind in the colander, thinking a little girl like that can feel easy with those old rags in her back. You're right. I'm a very stupid man. Well, don't stand there boasting. Go out and buy her a dress. I'll heat up the water for a bath. Ain't never worn no female dresses. But you'll be living here now. You'll want to be like the other girls. Ain't gonna. All right. I'll be back. I'm going in town to make out my report. Mr. Sam! But Gerard, he's our hired hand. Get Morrison. Marshal! Marshal's been a killin'. Man rode in on a horse and fell right down the head just like that. It's been shot at close range, Marshal. Killed him. Just like they done my pa. What do you know about this, Sam? I was on my way to make out my report. Take him into Doc Clemens. This is Tess Wilkins, Marshal. Hello, Tess. You better start telling me about this, Sam. Sir Johnny, that's the kid. It was Sam Buckard. You know, he must have been the one that found her. Well, what if she sees you, Johnny? Well, that won't make no difference. Unless she's seen me before. So supposing she did. Well, that'll make it kind of interesting. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> you stay here, I'll be right back. Now we'll see something. Here she seen me at the wagon. Johnny, I ain't having no fun. And you're gonna put our necks in a rope. My neck don't stretch no better than yours. And I ain't putting it in no rope. But the closer I can get to where it just misses me, the better I like it. Here she comes. All right. Now, here's how we play this little game. Yeah? <laughs> Girl, where is she? I don't know. She was here a minute ago. Tess! Right here. It's him. You stay here.
You got a complaint, Marshal? Two. Murder and robbery. Oh, so much. Well, well, we can clear up the robbery part of it quick enough. You, you want to look? You're not that loco. Well, then maybe you shouldn't go talking so big. Unless you got proof. I got proof. You see that man over there? Standing right by that little girl? Well, he's a friend of mine. And he does kind of unexpected things. You still got proof? <laughs> yeah. Be more careful next time. Tess. Tess, listen. Tess. Tess? I thought, where's your dress? Let's go! Well, what's wrong, Shy? What is it? Tess. It was foolish to run. It was no worse than what you did. Tess, listen to me. No. Not to you. You promised. You had him. And you let him go. I had to. I don't want to tell you why. Then just don't tell me nothing. Just leave me be. Tess, I'm only trying to help you. I don't need your help. I Tess! No, no, no. What happened? There were two of them. They had her under a gun. If I tried to take them, they would have killed her. But afterward... I went back, they were gone. Well, why don't you tell her? Well, she's been so frightened. Sam, is she in danger now? I don't know. You'd better keep her in the house. I'll have Morrison send over a deputy just in case. Sam, you going after them? I would have told her that. Johnny, let's forget it and clear out. We took enough chances. Oh, no, we ain't. Besides, there ain't no running away from that Apache. There won't be one prairie dog hole he doesn't look in. Yeah, but he ain't looking for prairie dogs. He's looking for us, and he's gonna hang us, too. Not if he ain't got no witness to say she's seen it. And it's just his word against ours. And that's two against one. <laughs> <laughs> You're smart, man. You ain't gonna make no noise. Now, where is she? I asked you something. She's not here. Oh. That milk tells me different. Deke? Yeah. Watch her. It's no use. She's not here. Tess! <laughs> You let something happen to that kid, Sam will stake you out on an anthill. I'll help him. I'll write up your report, Sam. You can sign it when you bring him in. They don't have too far of a start. Wouldn't matter. Girl! You're hurting me. Sam, it wasn't them. They didn't take her. She was gone. She took the wagon, Sam. Why? Me. She's running for me! Where's the Wilkins Ranch? 10, 12 miles out. North trail to the draw, then cut west. Oh, let's not hurry. Buckhart will never figure we're loco enough to come this way. Well, I sure wish we was headed south. What? Without picking up our money first? Well, hmm. Unless you want to leave your shape. No, it's coming on dark. Let's get on.
don't need no light. There ain't nobody here. There's one more horse in that stall. Still sweat on him. On his too. We gotta get out of here. That's a chicken. Strike you, that's a mighty poor way to stable good horses. Unless you can't do no better. <laughs> Unless you're a kid. Now where else would a kid run to except home? You in here, girl? I know you're in here. Come out, come out, come out! Now, I don't like this. You making me look. Won't have to look. Tess, you here? Tess! That ain't gonna do you no good now. Now when you shoot now, I'm all chewed up. Buckard! You hear me? Still two against one, Buckard. You're forgetting something. I can see just as well in the dark. She could be sneaking up on us from anywhere. We couldn't even... Oh, shut up. I can also smell you. Scared men always give themselves away. They stink with fear. Be moving in on us anyway. I tried to tell you. Oh, Marshal! Marshal, don't shoot! Marshal was him, he killed them both, the money's right there in that stall! We'll have to find your money a little later, Tess. Are you hurt bad? Well, I should look to it. Pollard me good about things like that. I can fix it. When we get home. When we get home.